Well, hello there. Welcome to our devotion uh, for today, Wednesday, the 15th of November. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to uh, Thanksgiving Day. It uh, should be next Thursday if my calendar is right. Uh, good to have you with us today, whether you're joining us live this morning or throughout the day as, as your schedule allows. Uh, glad to have you. Uh, just a little bit of a heads up. Uh, if you enjoy those uh, family night dinners here at Mount Olive, tonight will be the last time you'll get one until after the first of the year. So uh, I encourage you to uh, get here and uh, enjoy the fellowship and the food. Uh, Thad's a great cook, and we're blessed to have him as part of our staff here. Greg, good to see you. Fred, I'm glad to see you made it. All right. The lake will, lake will still be there tomorrow, right? And Doreen, good to have you along as well. And uh, as I was joking with Pastor, I said I feel uncomfortable. But uh, I, I think that it's going to be a very afraid to hit that share button. Uh, get the word of God out to uh, that we receive as we look at uh, to us and blesses us through this. To have you and Janelle and uh, Agnes. I'll be using the ESV version. Luke 1, 46 through 56. I doubt in cross-referencing, though, that there are testament uh, that is Mary, you know, giving us this wonderful, these words. And again, we know the Holy a wonderful, wonderful message. And uh, the references, uh, to scour through them. There's uh, several verses that we have in front of you. have you here. And Toddy and Dave, glad to have you. Heavenly Father, as we approach us, us, that you'd help us in this time. Uh, her attitude of gratitude her and towards all people name alone uh, for these things raise you through that same Christ who lives and and again thank you for joining us six and it starts out this way so my spirit rejoices in God my sake on the humble estate of his servant for he who is mighty has done me is his name and his mercy generation to generation their hearts he has brought down the mighty of humble estate he has helped his servant Israel and then this section also concludes with the uh her home. Uh, if the sound, I apologize, I just realized I forgot to mute this. Back if we were getting some. So, uh, I don't know if you read anything about this song of uh, of Esther. I kind of wonder what, especially in those uh, as uh, along the way, and, you know, with all of the discomfort she was going. And at some point, sometimes the shine comes. You know, whether it's our job, it's our attitude of gratitude during. This would be something she could go back and, and, and read things from God. And that's a lot of times what has to happen. It starts to fail, and we can think that God has ever let us down. He's always just to you this week is to, 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 to speak those words of pressings that he has given you. And when you to where that job's lost, it's lost, health starts to fail, and it becomes left for you in and you're, yes, and you're in a different place, and know that God is with you, to know that he's going to, just as he did with Mary, for Jesus, and to have that, but that special relation, Mary carried Jesus with her for nine months, day of our lives, and we're free, and we have ample opportunity that out in our life. We want to make sure that we understand how God coming to her, and the visitation of times, even she lost sight of what was Jesus was uh, at the for, the for the Passover and his leaves and Mary and Martha think that Jesus back they go right and and where was he he was in the temple Jesus gently reminds her I use that to the point that no matter who we are those times where we lose sight of God's wonderfulness and his grace and his mercy fresh and reminded of who to keep that connection and to keep you know fresh every day but either things as we're going through just Going back and done. There's so many people, and there's lots of people within the scripture. Maybe written once, or uh, you know, Thanksgiving, uh, they were. If it was little, you know, about the amount of gifts that God was, who we are. Uh, this, uh, and when did that happen? He already knew each and every one. Praise, uh, especially in baseball, and, and for a future player to be named, he knows our name. He knew it before the earth. He already knew us here. He already knew that Adam and Eve was going to give thanks to God that he's still crying that they would sin. That, that is a gift that we are blessed to have a challenge for you. And uh, so I created, because I knew I was going to do it, right? But this, the Lord is good to me, resurrection of his son, my Lord and Savior, community and health. He has blessed me. He has blessed me with various always watching over me. 
God has still been faithful to me. They give thanks to the Lord for his mercy in the darkest of times. Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. And again, that's uh, just...